Up what nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Dr. Stone chapter 217. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And of course, because this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored, and I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos, and it's getting faster by the second. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below, and fam. Last week, we found the Y-Man. We did. We found him on the moon. And we also got, um, in the process of uh, putting our satellite up into space, we got to see what's going down um, on Earth. And uh, there's so many places I would have loved to see. I'm telling you, I need that Stone Diaries pickle. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. We finally found him on the far-off moon's surface, the one holding the secrets of the mass petrification, the mysterious mastermind known as Y-Man. Here we go. Dude, this art looks great. Yeah, we're coming for you, Y-Man. Now we can take uh, the fight to him before he strikes. We'll hit him hard and fast. God damn it, God. <laughs> Via one-way rocket, which ends with some, uh, with some of us petrified. I guess it's a good, um, a good thing we managed to find Y-Man, but, but now they're also eager to launch the one-way rocket. We couldn't make the deadline to build our uh, round-trip rocket in time. Oh, oh! It's finally time to build a rocket that folks can ride using a revised world map. Uh, we must form. Ooh, we must form a coalition on a global scale. Global, more like galactic scale, will come together as one, combining everyone's efforts. Um, is a tried and true strategy for the kingdom of science. Galactic scale come together as one. <gasps> Finally, my flash of inspiration. I thought of a way for everyone to survive and make it home. And in a two-way rocket... <gasps> Ooh, I thought of for, up a way for everyone to survive and make it home in, in a two-way rocket. And this chapter is titled Science Underdogs and Goddamn This Art. This art looks so gorgeous. Goddamn. God damn, I'm spoiled. Ooh, Mega Science Conference. Yes, let's go. What's this? Listen up. We don't agree with your crazy suicide mission in, in a one-way rocket. I'm sorry, comes done. Oh, my God. We don't agree with your crazy suicide mission in a one-way rocket. We could get our happy ending with a two-way rocket instead. The looks on everyone's faces are fucking priceless. They're like, Senku's just like thinking about it. Zeno's like, it gets like, ah, <laughs> oh, my sweet dear Chrome and Suica. Naturally, we all wish the thing were possible, but alas, I'm sure you two already know the problem. A two-way rocket would have to be gigantic, and we need to start our test launches from scratch. Easily five times the risk and um and time commitment. Uh, let's see, I'm envisioning decades of work at least. See, I knew it wouldn't be centuries; it'd be decades. That's why this whole time, Chrome has been racking his brain for an answer, searching for a way for um, the little rocket to somehow make it to the moon and back. On that note, check it out. The rookie science team's bad, never done, uh, done before scheme. We're going to take that gigantic spaceship that can, make it, um, that can make it back home from the moon and we're going to launch it there in five pieces, then up in space. They combine into one mega ship. The looks on everyone's faces are fucking amazing. This is just... <laughs> They're like, what? I'm speechless. Uh, uh, I don't have a clue what this space stuff is all about, but even I can recognize one of Crumb's study schemes when I see it. Dear Senku, dear Zeno, care to comment? The space station that Byakia and the others lived in was also launched at five pieces and assembled in space. God, of course he already knew. Our never before done plan was done before. Wait, who cares if it's not a new idea? It's a wild out of this world plan that falls 10 billion percent outside of me and Zeno's thinking. And yet, once upon a time, even NASA theorized about launching a piecemeal spaceship. However, the fatal stumbling block is in the design. The complex design needed for a two-way spaceship comes in interlocking uh, joinable sections. So it would involve several million individual components. Hm. So what you're saying is... 
If we put the population of the new world to work on crafting those millions of co uh, components, we stand a chance of creating this multi-part ship. Am I wrong? <gasps> Woo, dear Riasui's unbridled desire rears its head. Yes, it does. If nothing else, I've um, run the math for these launches. Yeah, it all works out on paper. A truly elegant notion, but not one I could call realistic. What if we all uh, work together really hard? Yeah, like besties should. Like besties should. <laughs> oh my god, Chelsea, I love you. Hey, let's ask everyone which plan they like better. That would mean uh, revealing the petrification device a secret. No! Fine, then just the folks here. Okay. I know we're the rookie science team and uh, the super technical details are lost on us, so if you say it's 10 billion percent impossible and the one-way trip is the only option, then I'll back off. But if we've got the slimmest shot at making this work, then the two sides should duke it out. One way or two way, all of us should decide. Because that's how the kingdom of science works. We combine our strength to build and create. Look at Senku, he's like a proud papa. <laughs> he created this monster. I think Zeno's looking at Senku like, did you do this? <laughs> This will be the Stone World's first democratic vote. Good thing I've coded a, vo a voting program. That's fast, damn Sai. One way, two trip. Uh, one way or two trip. Press one button or the other to record your vote secretly. Hmm. Heh. Better not be any voting fraud. Worrying about that is pointless. Dude, the timing of this chapter. Oh my God. Yeah. <sighs> the election in Japan happened over the past week, so yeah, that's this explains a lot. <laughs> Senku, just like how you never lie when it comes to science, Sai would never taint his coding with uh, with deceit. Yeah, how dare you su suggest that Sai is going to commit voter fraud? The results are in. I'm not going to say anything about... No, 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 no. Will our spaceship be for a one-way journey or a two or a round trip? Up oh, the win is two-way, of course. Yee! The final tally is in for round trip. Yee! We won fair and square. No going back now, right? One dream of it. Well, we've got a brutal road ahead of us. We're in this. Too. We're in this too. Anything to be helpful? Oh, sorry. We're in this too. Anything to be helpful? Oh, the votes may have been anonymous, but but there would have been no harm in showing the tally. All of them voted for two-way. It was unanimous! Yay! Chrome, this is a victory for you and Suika. Yeah, look at Suika! Oh, but look at, dude, Chrome. I gotta say this about Chrome in this pose, or in this, well, in this pose and in this panel. This looks so fucking badass. Chrome's like, yeah, I won, bitch! <laughs> Suika's like, yeah, she's crying. It's so cute. You and Zeno were whispering earlier, and I happened to overhear something wild. <laughs> Nothing escapes uh, your godlike ears, Ukio. The whole world's got to work on this uh, transforming rocket, and the only way to make it happen is if we hook uh, the stone world up <gasps> with the internet. Uh, here we go. At long last, yes! Gets to look at Sai's face. It's like, <gasps> I love Gen. I love Gen's, the look on Gen's uh, face, but damn, Sai's face is everything in this page. Um, but yes, we are getting the internet. I'm so, I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see how the internet is going to work here. How much, we're going to be doing dial-up, let's be real. If we do like, or, no, it won't be, it will be satellite internet, duh. Satellite internet is as slow as dial-up anyway. It might as well be dial-up. My parents have satellite internet, so I know this. <laughs> Unless, like, you pay more anyway, it's slower than dial. It's as slow as dial-up. You might as well be on dial-up at that point. But I'm really curious what you guys think of this chapter. I'm really liking this chapter a lot. I'm liking that Chrome and Suica proved everyone wrong. And um, I really do hope we get to see everyone come together, like, and we get to see, like, the terrain of um, each country. Um or, you know, each kingdom that we see, you know, you know what I mean? Each country, each town, each village, whatever. I want to see that. I want to see the terrain. I want to see all of them work together. I do. I want to see it. But will we get it, though? Or is this something that would be saved for the stone diaries? 
God damn it. I am really so <laughs> I really want this. I want the Stone Diaries so bad. But really curious what um, you guys thought of this chapter. Do you like that the underdogs rose to the challenge and won? I like that we had our first Democratic vote. Oh, I just hope we don't have, like, the same issues in my comment section. Oh, God. But something I do want to point out, though, is with Sai. I love that we had a little thing with Sai about the coding. Mm-hmm. But... Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Are you, What are you guys looking forward to seeing from this portion of the arc? Do you guys want to see, like, everyone, like, little parts of the world working together? And are you glad that it is going to be the world coming together uh, to work on it? Which, in all reality, I kind of saw happening after, you know, Senku and um, uh, Sukasa and Ryusui went to the moon anyway for if they did a one-way trip. I saw that happening anyway, where everyone was going to have to come together and do it. So to see, to have this now actually is really nice. I like this a lot. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and a kickin', uh, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.